So I just had one of the most beautiful conversations with a client and I just saw light bulbs lighting up all over the place and many little breakthroughs happening for the client and I got off the call so revved up, so excited that I thought I'm just gonna throw this camera on and share my thoughts, my views, my ideas and hopefully help you navigate through this thing called emotions. By the way, disclaimer, I did not plan this video out, so this is just gonna be a little bit of a thought process or, or my thoughts on it, and hopefully you can just take one or two small things that, that land for you, and ultimately what I'll be talking about is if, if we let our emotions dictate every decision or how we start or how we go through or the choices we make or the level of action we take on a daily basis, you're in for a massive disappointment when it comes to growing a coaching business. Now I get flack for that because people will say, well, you're just emotionless or you're just an asshole or you're just, do you not feel, are you even human? And please note, I'm not talking about not feeling. I'm a human being that gets to enjoy the human experience and part of that human experience is feeling. It's a beautiful thing. But learning how to control your emotions is not the same thing. So ultimately it comes down to what emotions are desirable, which emotions serve you, and which ones don't. And being aware of which emotion would you like to feel, which emotion serves you, or if the emotion doesn't serve you, how to control it and change our perspective of the situation so we can produce a different emotion, a more desirable emotion. Not a good emotion, not a bad emotion, there's no such thing. I'm not talking about good or bad. I'm just talking about having that emotional control, that emotional mastery to be able to control our emotions. Something I suffered from when I first started in business and as an entrepreneur was letting my emotions control me. I'd be getting a great result and then all of a sudden the result wouldn't go as planned or someone would say something, something would happen and then I'd lay in bed three days depressed, beating myself up and feeling something and when someone was like, oh, just feel better or just go do something, I'm like, oh, I just don't feel like it. Feelings, feelings, feelings. And it had a massive effect on my business because I was insanely inconsistent with the actions that I took. Then I started finding a very funny thing happened. Is I'd be tired, I'd be unmotivated, I'd be feeling all these negative emotions and I'd be not taking action and I'd be beating myself up and then a friend would call that I haven't talked to in a long time and I'd pick up the phone and get really excited and within five minutes I'd put down the phone and I'd be all excited about life again. Or I'd be all down and out and then I'd get an email of I got a new client or something would happen and all of a sudden I was feeling amazing. Or magically I just wake up the next morning after three days of like a depression and eating pizza and not taking action. I'd wake up and I was all excited and re-motivated. And I started investigating and, and studying why is that? And can I control that? How much powerful would I be if I could wake up every morning excited, enthusiastic with more desirable actions and, and take massive action because of it? And when I started researching it and becoming obsessed with it, it became a habit and now I can say with complete certainty that most of the time I'm in a desired state. I'm excited. Nothing changes. We can have a week of no sales or, or, or you know, perceived bad things happening to us, yet still feel excited, enthusiastic, motivated. And I truly believe if we can master that, success can be yours in whatever endeavor you go after. Right now we're talking about building an online business, but in any endeavor, your chances of success drastically improve because you're betting on yourself a million times more than you are when you're in a defeated state. Does that make sense? I hope that lands. So what actually happens when you wake up and you're all of a sudden motivated. Nothing changed, your bank account didn't change, the amount of clients you work with didn't change, the outcomes didn't change, you didn't win a million dollars, but all of a sudden you feel motivated. There's a few exercises I do every single morning and every single night because I truly believe that the mindset and emotional master and control comes before strategy and, and tactics and, and, and working on a business. So I understand that if I can wake up in the morning and work on this thing and this thing and make sure it's in alignment, 
before I step into the day, the chances of me winning the day drastically improve versus waking up, looking at the phone, looking at what I have to do and then applying strategies and tactics and, and what my coach told me to do. I'm at a disadvantage because there may be some misalignment that I am already losing control or I start receiving emails or texts that aren't desirable and they make me think a thought that creates a negative emotion or an undesirable emotion that, that will dictate the level of action I take after that. If we can see it as a spiral, as a staircase, as momentum, I choose to start my day in a positive or a forward moving, uh, you know, in, in momentum, in state, in a desired state in a grounded, enthusiastic, positive place before I start my day. I used to laugh at gratitude until I understood this. I used to laugh at positive you know, uh, uh, psychology and, and, and creating a desired you know, visualization so I could see the result I want for my day before the day even started because I'm like, that doesn't matter. That's not, that's not gonna change my reality until I understood that it actually does. Everything you have in front of you was once a thought that turned into an emotion. That emotion dictated the action you took, the choice you made, and then the action you took, and that action produced a result. If I'm working with a client and they're not getting the results, but they're doing everything right, we go right into psychology, into understanding where are we energetically, emotionally, and if energetically we're at a low frequency, if mentally and emotionally we're, we're producing undesirable results and undesired emotion, negative emotions, we are going to lose the game no matter what I tell you to do. No matter what courses or programs you buy, which is why I'm so big on this with clients, is we need to be in a place that moves us forward in a positive direction. So my challenge to you, or what I bring to you, is how are you starting the day, how are you ending the day? When I started starting my day, it actually starts with the end of the day. So I see the end of my day as the start of the next day, if that makes sense. So I end my day reviewing the day, what worked, what didn't, what could I have done better, and then getting very clear on my next day. I visualize my next day, I get clear on the outcome I want, I get clear on the big projects, I get clear on how I want to feel, What's the, I visualize the outcome of my day, literally, and I go to bed with that. I write it down and go to bed. When I wake up, the first thing I do is review it, refine it, get it dialed in, make sure that I'm in a grounded place. If I'm not, then I work on that first. There's many techniques you can do. I think visualization and meditation is one of the fastest ways to do it, but there's many ways to do it. And I get very focused on what's the outcome, and I make sure that I'm aligned energetically, that my subconscious and conscious, a lot of times we're receiving uh, information or we're saying things and consciously we're in agreement, subconsciously we're not in agreement. Meaning that we want to be rich or we want to make money, but subconsciously we think money's bad, we think money's evil, we think it's hard to get, we think we don't deserve it, hence we never have it. And so I make sure all of that is dialed in, is on point, before I step into the to-do or the tasks or the taking action. Here's where a really funny thing happens because we're talking about the extremes here. Within those extremes, there's a spectrum of different things you can experience. I'm still all for taking action. So by all other accounts, if that fails and you're still feeling negative and you're having a hard time getting into alignment and you wanna tap out and just lie in bed, I'm still on the side of, well, let's just take action and see what happens anyway. Something's gonna happen, at least something's going to happen instead of nothing happening. But if we can, nine times out of 10, and I'd say this with 100% truth, put me in a lie detector, um, I say this with, with full transparency, nine times out of 10, 90% of the time, I'm in full alignment, I'm excited, I'm enthusiastic. That used to be like one out of 10 days, now it's like nine out of 10 days. There is the odd day and the odd time that I'm not. And I go through some exercises and I'm still not there. Beautiful, did my best. It's okay, let's just take action. By taking action, I usually generally get there fairly quickly anyways. By taking action and producing a result and just doing it anyways, next thing you know, you're producing desired results, which in turn create different thoughts, which in turn create different emotions, which those emotions create better choices, and those better choices create better actions, and those actions produce even better results. And if you can see it as an upward spiral, you start fucking winning. And that's ultimately where we wanna to get to. I get really excited about this because this is the difference that changes someone's life. 
This is the thing that makes the difference. Then the tactics and the strategies, they've got a exponentially increased, you know, the chances of success when you implement them. I'm going to end it with that. Check out lucasrubix.com if you want to dive deeper in on this. We've got the Coach's Corner podcast, the YouTube channel. All of that is, is strategies and tactics, yes, but there's also a lot of mindset and emotional control, emotional mastery to help you tap into that part of success, which I think is 80% of it, maybe more. And let's develop that. We've also got breakthrough coaching and all these other beautiful programs and beautiful ways that you can get assistance and help and accountability to making sure that you become the best version of yourself and become completely unstoppable. Let me know the one biggest thing you got from this video in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe if this actually had an impact on you and stay tuned for more videos like this when you do subscribe. With that said, I'm peacing out. I'll see you in the next video. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small, and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay, but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix, and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.